All right, we're going to go over media setup today, and the media is loaded currently, and right now the LCD displays lever up. So we will drop the lever, and our first media type will display. Right now it says type 1. That's what we're going to go over setting up. Uh, you can use VSM to custom name each one of these media types on the value at 1638. It uh, has 15 different media types. Right now I didn't press enter, so it automatically timed out and selected media type 1. Um, at that point, I still had the option to select any of my 15 different media types. So it just finished initializing the width of the material. It displays the width of it. So we'll hit enter and we're at ready to print. The first thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and run a nozzle check and make sure that all my nozzles of the print heads are firing correctly. If I press and hold down the left arrow key for two seconds, is a shortcut to do this. And as you can see, it goes to printing, and we'll now print my nozzle check. Here inside the color bar of the nozzle check, we're looking at all of the individual channels of the CMYK. We're looking for any misdirected or spaced gaps in between each one of those lines that would signify a problem. If we did see a problem, we would want to run a cleaning cycle to bring those nozzles back. And to do the cleaning cycle, if you press and hold down the right arrow key this time for two seconds, it would automatically go into the cleaning cycle process. So we're good, so we're going to go ahead and proceed with setting up the rest of our media type. If I press the menu key once, it displays the setup. I go into the right arrow key to the setup. Setup one is user type. Press enter on user type and it displays my type 1 setting. That's the one that we want to modify here, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on type 1, and my first option is print mode. We're going to go down to the next option, which is adjust print, and here's where we're going to perform our bidirectional user alignments. So right arrow key into adjustment. Now the first option I see here is media thickness. This is where you need to get a micrometer and measure the thickness of your material. All right, so we measure that out, and it measured at 250 micron. So we're going to change this up to 250 and press enter. And that takes us into our adjust print section. If you scroll down to print two custom, press enter. It says adjust one confirm pattern. And we're going to scroll down until we see find pattern all. Adjust 9 is fine pattern all. I'm going to hit enter. It says warming up and it will print the pattern. We have pattern A through F here printed out, and with this being the dual head machine, we have two heads, head one and head two. And where it displays the one and two, that is our reference point, so four will always be our reference point. What we're looking at here is for any overlap or gap in between the top and bottom sections of this printout. So if I go to four and look to see if there's any gap or separation and there's not, that pattern's okay. If I see a separation, I can go right to left and find where the pattern looks the best. At that point where that pattern looks the best, I input that number to that pattern into the display panel of the machine. The first thing that displays here is pattern A1 with the number 4, 4 being our reference point. Um, we decided that 5 was our best pattern, so I will press the up arrow key one time and change that number to 5. If I press enter, it saves that parameter and takes me to A2. I would at that point look at A2 and make my adjustment the same way and proceed all the way through F2. 
and after I make each adjustment, if I press and enter, it takes me to the next pattern. After I get to the last pattern, which is F2, make my adjustments, the media will auto feed back, and it remains on a just nine fine pattern all. My, my settings have been made, and I can at this point press the cancel key, back out to ready to print. Alright, the next section we're going to go to on the media type setup is going to be our page feed adjust. Press the menu key once. Right arrow key into setup, enter on user type, enter on type 1, and I'm going to down arrow key until I see PF adjust. Right arrow key into PF adjust, and the first one I'm going to do is the PF1 initial print, press enter, and I always do this at feed length 500 millimeters. What this is going to do now is print out a registration mark on each side of the material, forward what the machine believes to be 500 millimeters, and print a second registration mark. Mm -hmm. What we then have to do is measure from the first tick mark to the second tick mark and verify what the correct measurement actually is. Okay. All right, now that we've taken our measurements, uh, we measured 496 millimeters. We'll come back to press the menu key once. We'll right arrow key into the setup menu again. Enter on the user type. Enter on type one. We're gonna go down again to our PF adjust. Right arrow key into PF adjust. Now the last time we did initial print, this time we're gonna want to go down to initial change, down one to PF two. Hit enter on initial change and it says 500 out of 500 millimeters. We want to change that to reflect the actual reading we took, which is 496. So now it displays 496 out of 500. I press enter, it stores that parameter, and I can then go down one to PF3, confirm print, press enter, feed length at 500 millimeters again, and now this will print out magenta registration marks as opposed to the black ones, and this is for your confirm print. Now if you did this correctly, this should now measure 500 millimeters accurately. If I want to set the heat settings inside this, the RIP settings are going to override the printer settings. Mm -hmm. That being said, we can set up each media type to reflect the exact settings that we want. And uh, if I press the menu key once, right arrow key into setup, enter on user type, enter on user type 1, down arrow key until I see preheater. This is the, the heater leading into the machine that begins opening so, the floors. Do the, the machine still have three strips? Three heaters. Okay. Good. So this is the pre, and I have it set to 40 degrees Celsius currently. I can change this by pressing the up or down key. There you go. If I want to go back, I press the cancel key. That takes me back out to the preheater. I go down, I'm to the platen heater, same thing. Enter, I can change it. Cancel, I do it back. And there's the, the dryer heaters right there. Enter, cancel. Mm -hmm. That's how you can set up the individual heat settings as well. Mm -hmm. And at that point, your media type set, and you no longer have to do this every time you load that particular media 